Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a relic of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps, for one of these. So it's back, bigger and better than ever before. I do hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional roller coaster. Well, the biggest show in town just now, Peter, and everyone wants to be a part of it. Uh, a competition that seems to draw out the, the whole gamut of emotions. And in keeping with that, we've got an atmosphere with a real sense of enthusiasm here. And uh, I'm hoping we get lift off once this game kicks off. As you can see, we've already started here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Romelu Lukaku, his physical characteristics are very impressive. They're always likely to attract the most attention, of course, but for me, it's not just that he's big and he's quick, it's his willingness to, to go direct with the ball at his feet, to take his man on, be brave and just head for goal. That's what makes him quite lethal yeah hard to see past him he'll be looking to put on a show I'm certain of that keeper sends it forward as moon foot in and it's Zayek Oh, some tackle that. And it's played forward. Lukaku. They'll try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's got away. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. And here's Lukaku. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. to safety Thiago Silva gets it back <laughs> Zenit St Petersburg have it back and they can go again foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area and no surprise that's a booking players protesting furiously but there's little or no sympathy from the ref well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? He's gone for the shots! Oh, what a goal! Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy! Dispatched expertly, nicely done. at St Petersburg take the lead 1-0 yeah this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here and it's Mark has a pop it's anyone's ball and often gets good distance on it Jorginho it's a loose ball Conte. Time to deliver. Juba.
beautifully done. A good challenge, stood up well against his man. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Jorginho. Lovren. Rakitsky, a scorer already in the game. Half an hour played now. And that's put paid to a promising move. He's looked long this time. And it's Marcos Alonso. Turns and goes back. Conte. He's got it, and he's got time. Juba plays a clever pass. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Hoists it forward. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Great challenge. Time to perfection. Lovren simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority too. Wonderful. Juba, has he picked him out? Malcolm. Looking for a decent ball in. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Great run, this. He's had a shot! And in it goes! On the cusp of half-time, he delivers with perfect timing. That really is quite fabulous, all his own doing. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, what a convincing response to going behind. They've got all the momentum now. Marcos Alonso gets it back. Juba. Goes for goal! He's delivered all right! Jim, your thoughts? And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So a really good half of football. Three goals, and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them. As Pliqueta with the foul. Too far for anyone. Marcos Alonso. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Rudiger. Jorginho. Conte. Zayac. Malcolm battles to win it back. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given.
Juba. Malcolm. That is terrific skill. Malcolm has a pop. Oh, the ball's come loose. He's gone for it. No, oh, he's missed it. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Thiago Silva goes looking. And it's Zayat. And the shot! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Juba. And here's Lukaku. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And here's Lukaku. Tries to stroke it through. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. It's a good foot in there. Thiago Silva. Juba. Forward it goes. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Lobs it in gently. Keeper's ball. Hoists it forward. He's left his man. Thiago Silva plays it forward. There's a long ball. Hits one! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Can take Ox to play it back. That's Pelicueta. Has gone out. And it's Aspilicueta. Conte. Chelsea are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Tries to get it forward quickly. Thiago Silva cuts it out. And here's Lukaku. He's there to his seat. It's Lukaku! Chelsea are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Quite a thriller this one's become. 
Chelsea surely know by now that they've put so much work into producing the equaliser that they'll battle on for a winner. You know, it's, it's all one-way traffic for them now, and they simply have to capitalise on it. Zenit St. Petersburg merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Yeah, he's fouled him there. There could be trouble here, but for now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Hits one! Surely this time... Goal! Zenit St. Petersburg! And again they hit the front. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, look, regardless of whether the keeper could have done better or not, Peter, that was all down to the excellent movement in getting into the right position to apply the final touch. Time for a change in personnel. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. Zenit St. Petersburg take the lead. Oh, it was a long time coming, but I think it's fully merited. They've applied themselves extremely well. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Saul. Defending of the desperate variety. Been leave it clear. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. Juba. Marcos Alonso drives it forward, looks to thread it through. Deep into stoppage time. Lukaku. And it's played forward. He's on his shapes to shoot! It's there! Dying minutes, and we're all square again! Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Well, it's an inspired substitution, terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. So all... And there goes the final whistle. Not ideal, but not the worst.